guys, I am finally here to film my long-awaited Louis Vuitton Keep Out 55 Bandelier video and I just want to say thank you for being patient. I just needed some time to get to know the bag and I think I know the bag by now so I can give my complete review. So this is pretty much three ways to wear it. You have it on your shoulder crossbody and if you don't have the bandolier this is a carry-on <laughs> so these are the three ways to wear the key pile of course it always looks cute with the never pulls pretty much all you need at the airport but that's just only if you want to be totally um, dainty about it so Let's get into it. I just want to do a quick measurement just uh, to show you just size-wise how big it is before I get into like the specifics and what it can hold. So we have Yardstick. I haven't seen her in a while. Um, right, I'm going to measure at the top. Oops. And it's 55 centimeters, so this equivalates, it's, it should do, yeah, 22 inches long and it's also the same at the bottom 22 inches so it's 22 inches long and 55 centimeters actually I realized I passed elementary math and I know that 25 plus 30 equal 55 so 55 centimeters And on the sides, we are measuring, let's see, this is 12 inches high. So we have a foot high and um, the width, it's very awkward to measure, it's 10 inches I would have to say, it just depends on how much you have in there, it could be bowed out right now, mine's is about 11 inches but it's 10 inches. And the strap is, let's see, for this I actually have a tape measure because it's a little longer than my yardstick. And I have this on its highest notch, or its longest notch. And it has nine notches, so that's an inch. And it is. 47 inches on its longest, and like I said, there's nine notches right here. So you have nine inches to um, loop it up. And I usually wear it um, more towards the, the last three, or not, ne never the last one, usually um, on the sixth one down. That's why I wear mine. So as you can see, I have my heat stamped name tag. It comes with this really annoying, um, what do you call this, handle keeper and a um, lock, Louis Vuitton's lock. And it's so cute because compared to the mini, it'd be so cute to carry these together too. I don't know why I just said that. But um, inside, I just want to show you, um, let's get to the inside. I have a queen size comforter keeping this stuff and it's not a rinky dinky comforter that you'll go cold in in the forest this will keep you warm so that was in there now here's the up close view of the bag i just wanted to show you um kind of all around just one piece of canvas nothing special it's just a glorified speedy 55 um with a strap and the Speedy 40, I laugh because that's luggage to me. This is huge. Uh, if I could do it all over again, I'd probably get the Makassar. But this is iconic, so it's uh, a very started piece of luggage. And um, see the zippers, they lock up so you can lock it. And it flaps over right here. On the inside though, let's get there. 
there is absolutely nothing in there. There should be nothing in there. And the only thing that you'll have is a D-ring to attach um, your keys or a clay, something you need to get into uh, that you need right by there. But I don't imagine putting anything heavy because it'll actually w weigh the bag in. So I wouldn't put anything heavy there. It's nothing more than a clay unless you plan on stuff in your bag. And here is the day code right here on the opposite side of the D-ring. And on the other side, these are just to put the handles on. It should be nothing. And my bag was made in the USA. So we have a stamp right here. I'm not sure if the, the newer ones with the claw tag what's happening right there, but yes, I have a big uh, maiden right there. And of course, all of the pieces are gonna say Louis Vuitton. Every single piece says Louis Vuitton. And there is your little Naked 55 right there. So I am going to transfer all of my carry-on luggage from this 21 inch spinner into here and show you exactly how much this 55 can hold because it can hold a lot. Let's start. Okay, so I'm going to transfer everything from here, which is a full carry-on 21 inch into here. I keep out 55 and show you how it fits. So let's lay everything out, see what we have. We have 10 t-shirts. By the way, I'm a size small and a size four in pants. We have 10 t-shirts, two pairs of sweats. We have six pairs of jeans. Oops. Six pairs of jeans here. Two pairs of leggings, workout pants. Here we have some toiletries. This is all like carry on. We have some shoes, sneakers, that I will keep uh, bagged up so they won't get my other clothes dirty. And just a pair of casual shoes, tennis, that we have all bagged up. So let's put all of this into here. So first let's start off with the jeans, the heavies, because we want to put the jeans on the bottom to give it some shape. So I suggest all the hard stuff go on the bottom and I wouldn't put a base shaper in here because eventually it'll start to rub and it will rub a hole right through the bottom. So I do see those but I don't suggest the base shapers, the hard ones. So we have the jeans to give us some shape. Let's put the sweats and the leggings in. We have now put the sweats and the leggings in. Let's put those on either side, try and even it out. Now we have the t-shirts. So let's kind of put them on the sides. There we go. And the shoes. Let's put them on either side. And last but not least, the toilet shoes. Oh, it's gonna happen. Put those on the top. And I know it seems like I'm being forceful with this, but I'm really not. It's just, it's just how I am, just rough. And if I can be rough with this, because it's a piece of luggage, and luggage is meant to look like you use it and you go places, then it's cool. So then we have the pretty little name tag sticking out. And we have this, that, you here. Loop it through here. Grab onto this one. Loop it through here. Stick that little thing through there. And it's a wrap. And then you have this. If you want to get fancier, you can add your little cheap $20 leather charm that looks expensive and Beautiful and luxurious. And there you have it. And it can feel heavy. I suggest anything bigger than the 55 or the 40 
45, you get a strap because this can get heavy. I, you just saw me put like literally a week's worth of clothes in here. So, yeah. There she is. And in case you didn't see my 55 little thing I did, because I didn't think I saw it, here's what I did. It's 55 inches. Okay, so that was my Louis Vuitton Key Powell video, and I just want to tell you with this outfit, this is more of a, you know, you have a quick weekend trip, so I did take out some of this stuff, so I just wanted to show you guys when I took off the strap, that it's just for like a weekend trip, you know, so um, I also wanted to tell you, or just show you the versatility of this bag with the bandolier and without the bandolier, just to show you like the different ways to wear it it's very unisex guys girls but um, this is a very nice bag overall I would get the larger one to start off with and the smaller one later on if you really think it's something that you want to pursue Louis Vuitton luggage like <laughs> who wouldn't want Louis Vuitton luggage so that is the end of my review I will see you guys later because I have to go check the mail. All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> have fun, take care guys. See you in the next video.